Butte County, 4,300 feet elevation. I've stopped at a roadside meadow that I have discounted in the past as probably just being a livestock impoundment area. But just yesterday I was looking through a friend's photographs online and he claims to have found Drosra Anglica here. So I think I've been too hasty in writing this place off. Let me take a look at it. Ooh, look at this, Drosra rotundifolia. Very happy to see this. As you can see, there's a lot of Drosera anglica growing here. It's in an area only about 20 by 30 meters, but there's a lot of plants confined within this little area. Also, Drosera rotundifolia, no sign of hybrids yet though. But they could be here. This, this is amazing. Everything in here that's red is Drosera anglica. I didn't see this site until I was leaving. It's easily three times bigger than the anglica site that I was seeing back there. Everything red in this photograph is Drosera anglica. Man, it would be great to come back here with a bunch of other eyes and look to see if we could find some Drosera obovata in here. Very, very interesting, very cool site. <laughs> oh my god. It just, it just keeps getting better. I'm officially crazy right now. Look at this. It's, it's utricularia. It's utricularia intermedia. It's all in through here. And it's in flower too. This is spectacular. So this is really interesting stuff. This is clearly Utricularia intermedia. The strongly dimorphic shoots, the nature of the um, ultimate leaf segments, but the inflorescences are really, really short. Only about five centimeters, two inches tall. Really, really short. Very interesting stuff. I'm gonna look at the quadrifids tonight under a microscope to make sure that it is absolutely um, Utricularia intermedia, but I'm confident that it, confident that it is but it's a really interesting population of plants. Looking at Google Earth, I saw a lake up here in Butte County around 5,800 feet elevation. That's very interesting. I'm here to investigate. Got about a half a mile of bushwhacking to go, and then I'm gonna see what the lake looks like. Mmm, maybe algae on utricularia tastes good. Because of the variable water table, utricularia macrorhiza is the only carnivorous plant that is likely to be found in a location like this. But it's a beautiful place.
It could be in the hybrid, the hybrid, it could be here.